Hi, boys and girls. This is Mr. Wassman, and today we are looking at prime and composite numbers when it comes to multiplication. We're in our math journal on page 44, unit 2, lesson 5. So the first thing we should do is define those terms, prime and composite. So a prime number has exactly two different factors, one and the number itself. So these are the only two numbers that I can multiply together to get that product. Okay, so for example, right here, the number 2 only has two factors, 1 and 2. That means I can multiply 1 times 2 to give me 2, or I can multiply 2 times 1, and that also gives me 2. Okay, uh, since the 1 over here is the same as the 1 over here, I don't have to repeat that factor twice, so I'm not going to count 1 twice and 2 twice. I just have two factors, 1 and 2. So that means that 2 is a prime number. There's no other way to multiply two whole numbers to get to 2. Okay. Now, if you look at 4, on the other hand, 4 is an even number. Okay, So 2 is an even number, 4 is an even number. So that means any number that's even other than the number of 2 has to have more than two factors because two is a factor of all even numbers. The definition of an even number is that it is divisible, or you can divide it, into equal halves divided by two. So that means two is always a, a factor of that number. Okay, So there are several combinations that you can multiply two numbers together to get to four. Okay, I can multiply 1 times 4, that gives me 4. I can multiply 4 times 1, that gives me 4. And I can also multiply 2 times 2, and that as well gets me to 4. Okay? So when I'm looking at all the unique factors, I'm just looking at numbers that pop up once. 1, 2, and 4. So that makes 4 a composite number because it's got more than two factors. Okay? So... If I look at the next uh, whole uh, even number, 6, I know that ha that has to be composite because all, com all even numbers have 2 as a factor. Okay, So what are all the factors of 6? Well, I can multiply 1 times 6 to get to 6. I can also multiply 2 times 3 to get me to 6. So my factors are 1 and 2. 2, 3, and 6. Okay? So again, because 6 is an even number, 2 is one of the factors, and that means that it's going to be composite because we know that it has at least 2 as a factor. Okay? So every even number from here on out will be considered composite. You just have to know what are all the factors. Like for 16 right here, here's 2 as a, as a factor because 2 times 8 gives me 16. 1 times 16 gives me 16. And then 4 times itself. 4 times 4. That also gives you 16. Okay? Now, that means that if all even numbers after 2 are composite... What, what can we say about odd numbers? Well, uh, the first couple of odd numbers are going to be uh, prime as well. For example, 7. There's no number under the number 7 that you can multiply together that will give you 7 as the product. Okay? The only way I can do that is to multiply 1 times 7 or 7 times 1. Okay? So those are my two only factors. Okay? So my factors are 1 and 7, which makes this number prime. Okay, So 5 is an odd number, and it's prime, 1 and 5. 3 is an odd number. The only way you can multiply two numbers together to get 3 is to multiply 1 and 3. So that, too, is a prime number. Does that mean that all odd numbers are prime? Well, no, not necessarily. Let's take a look at 9. 
Uh, 1 times 9 gives you 9, but so does 3 times 3. And because I can count 1, 2, 3 different numbers that can be used as factors, then that means 9 is also a composite. Okay? So prime numbers after the first few single-digit numbers are going to usually be odd, but not all odd numbers are prime, okay? For example, anything that ends in a 5 is going to be an odd number, but anything that ends in a 5 is also going to have 5 as a factor, okay? 1 times 15 is uh, 15, but so is 3 times 5, okay? 3 and 5 are odd numbers. As a matter of fact, all these numbers, with the exception of 1, are considered to be odd number factors. Okay? So 15, even though it is odd, is still composite. Okay? And that's basically what you're going to be doing through this table. And it's going to take you a little bit of time. I, I won't lie to you. Okay? But once you understand that all even numbers after the number 2 are going to be composite, that, that cuts your workload in half. Because you'll be able to at least generate one pair of factors for each even number. It's that number uh, divided in half. Okay? And then you just multiply the number by 2. Okay? Uh, if you have any questions uh, about this activity, first of all, since you're in your math journal, you should consult the inside cover, the inside back cover of your math journal where you have the multiplication and division table. Uh, that will give you some hints as to what numbers are prime or not because if you can find an answer in more than one column or more than one row, uh, then it's going to be a, a composite number. Like, for example, 24. 24 shows up as the product of 3 times 8 and the product of 6 times 4. So you can use a uh, multiplication and division times table to help you find uh, whether or not a number is composite. If you have any questions about this activity, feel free to reach out to your math teacher. Continue to plug along. I know this will take you a little bit of time. But the more practice you uh, put towards any skill, uh, whether it is identifying uh, composite numbers or playing violin or doing tricks on your skateboard, the more you practice, the easier it'll be. So please practice by completing these two uh, columns of uh, factor rows. Okay? We'll talk to you again soon, friends. Thank you.